We're continuing our Living Local series throughout the month of July, highlighting a different place in the East every day during our afternoon newscast. Today, Nine Your Sides Claire Mollet takes us to my hometown of Plymouth to check out its fascinating history, including the role in the Civil War. Hi, Claire. Yeah, Ken, we're in your neck of the woods here on the beautiful Roanoke River, and we're actually on the lighthouse that represents unique town and while this lighthouse tells the story of this once bustling port town back in 1864 Plymouth was the home of the final Confederate victory in the Civil War at the Battle of Plymouth as a member of the Washington County Historical Society Jimmy Hardison helps run the port of Plymouth Museum he says about 2,500 Federalists occupied Plymouth from 1862 to 1864 the main purpose was trying to get to the Wilmington Railroad Railroad uh, that was the lifeline of the South, pretty much, that controlled uh, uh, all the, uh, the uh, troop uh, disbursements and supplies through the Army uh, from Wilmington all the way to Richmond, Virginia. And he says that ultimately led to the Battle of Plymouth when the CSS Albemarle was actually able to sink the USS Southfield, resulting in a Confederate victory. Hardison says today it's important to remember that history because it's a big part of this town and the culture. 